uh, he's with is with us. He was uh, in sales with Coca-Cola uh, before he came back. He's also been with Walgreens, Dollar General, Family Dollar, you name it. He is an account manager. He's a lot. Um, as his new role at Lamar, it's a Fortune 500 company. He's responsible for account management and business development. They operate 150 outdoor advertising companies. Have y'all y'all see all the signs at the bottom of his Lamar? Mm -hmm. You know, um, I always want to advertise on those, but he's got to give me a better discount than I get. Big son of an man like Vic Langford makes this a special move for Mark. He said, and like Dad used to say, early to bed, early to rise, work like hell, and advertise. That's and, it. And, <laughs> I love that. Uh, he's a former team president for Arkansas Twisters Arena football team. He serves on the board of directors for Little Rock Nonprofits, the Center for Youth and Families and Access, and a University of Arkansas graduate. Um, he's won the Cleo, Andy, and Addie Awards for voice work he's produced locally and has done all this wonderful stuff. Please welcome him. Thanks everybody for having me. Uh, I'm really excited about being here today. I know you probably can't tell, but you know. So anyway, let me just tell you, let's just buckle our chin straps and let's get ready to talk about some outdoor, okay? You guys with me? Now, the only thing I'm going to tell you is you're talking to a guy that used to like MC at an arena and stuff, and I'm out of t-shirts today, so I'll get you in. So if they come at you like ninja stars, I'm sorry, okay? But we're out of t-shirts. we got to order some more, Bob. All right, so first let me just tell you about a little bit, and uh, again, I'm going to go ahead and apologize to my coworkers because, you know, I'm kind of known for these one-liners around the office, and I'll just tell you, a lot of them come from my dad. He was my inspiration, my best friend. A lot of you guys know him, Dick. You know, and uh, he's been in the ad business and was for over 40 years. And I uh, got to start with uh, Cranford Johnson. And to this day, I remember, we, I mean, we'd be working on a project. And I went to Anthony School. And it was like a history art project or something. He grabbed a AAA sticker and put it on the top. I said, well, what's that? He goes, Anthony Ancient Arts. Boom. And I was like, see, you know, you can come up with anything. I mean, it was great. So anyway, it's been in my blood. It's been in my life. And the, the biggest thing I can tell you, and I also remind you in closing, is, you know, when I first got out of school, I would do all these jobs. And, and you know, after switching them every three months, he goes, well, I guess you're figuring out what you don't want to do. And he'd collect my business cards and all that stuff, you know, and have play connect the dots. That was fun. Uh, but uh, at the end of the day, he just always said, remember, Jack, he said, if you do something you enjoy, you'll never work a day in your life. It's so true, so I get so excited to come to work. Uh, but needless to say, he was a huge fan of outdoor. And uh, last little story on this, but y'all go, 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 oh. But he would bring me back the little miniature billboard frames, and I would use these with my Lionel train set. So these are the ones that he would give for samples back in the day to all of his clients. And of course, I've got it, you know, they've changed a little bit now. You guys saw, probably saw one of the ones out there front but anyway it was really fun but now okay making more tra traffic more bearable since 1902 the landscape has changed everybody i'm telling you it really is exciting like they were saying and we've got 150 companies across the country but we've got a local office here and so total across the country I mean, you're looking at close to 200,000 billboards that they have but the biggest thing that we're going to get into digital there's about 2,000 digital panels now and you want to talk about some interactive cool stuff i mean it's really 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 cool so far as let's talk about guys, more people are driving today than ever before. And matter of fact, the last stat, I mean, think about it. Today's day and age, we're blowing and going. We've got cell phones, we're doing it all. But 82% of all shoppers, uh, they shop on the way home while they're driving. And they're impacted by saying outdoor. And then of course, like I always say, and first let me just tell you, guys haven't worked at an advertising agency before. A lot of you guys probably know Chester Stores. Learned a lot from him, but the same thing I'll tell you, I will never stand here and tell you, just got to do outdoor. It's all synergy. It all works together. And so when you look at TV, radio, newspapers, and outdoor, I like to always say this around the office, don't I? I was like, if there's a rock band, we like to be the drummer or the guitarist or the lead singer because it all works together. It's synergy. So you can see if you had a campaign and you're going through here, it's like I always heard day in and day out. Outdoor, you can drive by, but you can't turn it off. <laughs> I mean, that's the way it is. So when you're looking at a campaign and things like that, remember that. I mean, synergy is a beautiful thing. My dad used to always tell me he used to love radio and outdoor. Son, you're seeing it and you're hearing it. True? You're hitting two senses right there, right? And of course, now you've got all the excitement with the social media aspect, which we'll get into, and how much fun you can have with that deal. 
So you talk about filling the gaps and things of that nature. Now, when you look at the different types of billboards in the old days, I mean, I think sometimes there's a misnomer that, oh, well, this is just a big billboard you see on my interstate. It's for a, uh, a hotel, and it's just a directional. Well, that's really not the case. You can go short-term, long-term. It just depends on what you're trying to do. If you want to do a branding campaign, we all know that's merely planning an idea in the mind of the target audience, right? Planning, uh, you know, planning in the mind. You've got different campaigns that you'll do, like, for example, and uh, again, I'm not here to tell you how the watch works. I just want to talk about some general ideas. But like we do what we call a rotary program. A lot of people don't realize this, but what we do is we try to save the client money. A lot of people think, well, I've got to go buy 10 billboards and just go put them everywhere. No. Because what if you did a big bulletin and we rotated it all around the city to a, Dick Clark had America's Top 40. We got the Lamar Top 40. We got our Top 40 bulletin placements. So every 60 days, we move it to a new location. It's a Jedi mind trick. Makes you think we're everywhere. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's on Cancho. He's on 630. See what I mean? And you're just using the same bond when you're moving. So we try to do those kinds of things to save our clients. Posters are a little bit smaller. And the beauty there is you can change your message every four weeks if you want to. And then again, you can move them if you want. You can leave them if you want. But the idea there is to keep it fresh. So when you've got different promos, retail calls to action, things like that. And then, of course, the digital display. We're going to have some fun with that. And don't, and don't get me wrong. You don't just get to sit here and listen today because we're going interactive at the end of this and we're going to have some fun doing a little design time. All right? So let's talk about, does that look like a typical billboard to you guys? Guys, I was in our backyard. This is a 3D wooden structure, talking about the gas price. That was a hose they made to look like a gas pump. And what you call up here at the top, those are known as extensions. You call them eye catchers, things like that, but it's used to grab the audience's attention. All right? The thing about uh, something like this, you're trying to give them a reason. What? You know, I want to make an impact. And you got, say, for example, on I 30, about 50,000 people a day, over and over. Repetition, repetition, repetition. So that's what our favorites. We actually submitted that, and I think that made what, top three? Something like that for an award uh, for our local artist. We're really, really lucky. We have our own in house artist. Uh, John Collins, and he's been doing this about as long as I've been alive. So he has won all kinds of awards and does a great job. They came up with this concept, built it in the back shop, and it was just stupendous. You guys like that? <laughs> well, that's cool. Okay, see, this is the monopole, is what we call that. And you see, it's, you're only limited by what you can come up with. Remember, they used to tell me at early days at Twisters, Jack, you can do anything you want until you're told not to. I'm like, all right, <laughs> awesome. Let's have some fun with this. Needless to say, we did like lawnmower races on the field, but that was a good idea at the time. All right, so you're doing things like that. So water, use what you need, okay? That's a billboard. See how they made it look like the crane from the back? Oh, yeah. Doing extensions. And see, that's actually still the structure. They just made it look like that. That's the vinyl. Oh. It's, I mean, it, so you can start, your mind just starts churning. What can I do? What can I come up with? The other night, which by the way, if anybody likes to you know, come up with ideas while you're eating. I was at Bonefish the other night and came up with a great idea for a billboard, but I love it because they had that paper right there so I could write it down right there and then tear it off. Oh, yeah, I love that. I was like, sorry about the table, but that's okay. Uh, so it was, it was for like Krispy Kreme. And we, you know, and we came up with the idea, pitched it, they loved it. See, you just never know. You just never know. And what's really gratifying is like in anything in this world, if you come up with a great idea and then you make it come to life, it's so gratifying, not just for you, but especially for your client who you're helping drive their business. Oh, wow. Is that cool or what? Now, a lot of these have been in other markets, you know, across the country. Some of them may have been uh, presentations or spec art, and uh, several of them have actually, you know, come to life. But we, every month, we'll get great contributions by all these artists all across the country from Lamar that are just pitching really, really good things or have sold one. There was one, I couldn't find it, but it was DeWalt Drill, and that drill was going all the way down to the ground. There were rocks everywhere. How cool is that? Talk about a big drill. Yeah. No. That's Crocodile Dundee. That's not a knife. No, that's a knife. Look at that knife right there. Custom meats. And if you guys notice, what's so great about all these boards? Less is more. We're not trying to read a book up here. Okay? I mean, you're not going to say, well, we're open from this time, but we've got this. And then let me tell you something about Facebook. Look, this is to grab their attention. You know, the rest is really up to us, right? Okay. Okay, this is no joke. Now, okay, now this is a bit extreme. That was actual soil on the back of a billboard. 
And that actually started growing over the course of three weeks until oh it was gosh. filled. Wow. Okay. That is awesome. That's awesome. This sprinkle with awesomeness on top. I just love it. <laughs> McDonald's is one of the biggest providers of outdoor in the country. Here you got an example. These are what are called two posters. Less is more. And they use two of them. Isn't that great? I mean, none of it's rocket science, but it's just utilizing what you have and making the biggest impact possible. <clears throat> media. Think about it. Again, you're utilizing other forms of media to get your own. These are 3D like extensions for the actual newspaper boxes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's so cool. I just love that. So you're thinking, okay, that's really neat. A lot of times you can do different campaigns. Like, uh, for example, let's talk about digital now for a second. Right, guys, this is where we have some fun. Sam's been diving into this, and Stephen Porter couldn't be here today. He had a meeting, but he's our young whippersnapper. I call him, anybody's familiar with him. Um, Dick Vitale, but he calls those freshman phenomenal players diaper dandies. He's like our diaper dandy. He's like 25. You know, all this little technical guru stuff. I mean, he's just all over it, right? So, eye spots. Imagine this, digital. Here's what I can tell you. We've got 13 digital panels in Little Rock, and about 2,000 across the country now. But the idea behind it is you can only have six advertisers. Okay, you're up there about 10 to 12 seconds each. All right, and you can change and do as many different layouts as you want. But the idea here is Let's talk about interactive. Basically through an internet stream feed, all right, this is all you need to know, um, you're gonna have a template. And what I mean by that is, let's say, this right here, four days and counting. The next day, it's gonna say three and two and one. We did a countdown, what was it, last year, Bob, for Taco Bell? Because remember the Doritos Taco? Everybody remember that? Mm -hmm. It's good stuff, okay? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I like to sample what we're promoting because I think it's my job. <laughs> yeah, I'm a giver. Alright, so uh, anyway you gotta do the countdown and uh, the, the template stays the same but your image right here. Reynolds hits a home run brought to you by Pontiac. So these are instant updates coming from <laughs> Facebook, internet, Twitter and actually if you get somebody on a regular basis the client can actually control it with this phone. How cool is that? I mean obviously we have a filter process if somebody had a bad day but, you know, <laughs> I mean, you know, you do that. Again, the zone, Mets will lead to nationals. So guys driving down, they're already seeing that. Oh, man, I need to probably tune into that. So you're using alternate forms of media um, to drive your own. Are you product. saying that as you tweet, it's going up on the billboard? Instantaneously. Oh. I know. It's just like it's a cool factor. <laughs> <laughs> so Facebook, a message. All right. So here's an example just in our own backyard, today's THG. And, Christy can tell you about this, but this was her campaign. But for example, uh, when the races were coming, this template may stay the same, and then right here you'd have live polling results. Obama, Romney, constantly updates. So people are getting home, they're trying to figure out, ooh, I need to go turn into today's THP so I can check out the deal. See what I mean? So it's just all live. So scores, uh, well, this is one. who's controlling that, you or the client? Uh, we actually control, there's a, basically a, 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 a corporate office in Baton Rouge. They have NOC, Network Operations System. All you need to, I mean, it looks like NASA, okay? They're, moder they're, they're basically monitoring every single digital panel across the country. So we send them the information, <coughs> create the templates, and they're just doing a connect hey, live stream Jack, to that website. And Sharice, what, what, what we did is we made them sign a waiver, and what we did is we kind of hooked them up. Once we set the template up, then they were able to feed from when they got results, it went to a direct feed to the board. So they hook it all in. Yeah. So it is instantaneous. So there's not like, oh, you got to go through this step, this step. Because once you get it in place, it's like a piece of cake. So, like, polling results, basketball scores. Oh, let me go back real quick. I want to show you this. This is one that uh, Sam's working on for Arjun Tablets right there in the Heights. And what was your thought behind here? You wanted to do some of the different lunch specials or Facebook call or what? Yeah, uh, this particular design, you see there's a big uh, open space in the middle. Uh, what I'm pitching to them is uh, that that's going to be the background template. And then uh, they're very active on Facebook. They're always posting up uh, drink specials, menu items. Uh, they're on it. And so uh, that space in the middle, uh, will be filled with their Facebook post. They'll post something on Facebook, it goes through a filter, and within minutes, it, it hits the board. And so, uh, if uh, they're at the bar late one night and somebody's having a big birthday party and they just want to give a shout out to them, they can pull out their phone and say, happy birthday, Vicky, and then, you know, 
you know. And your and your goals too, though, right? Because not only are you creating it interactive, but remember how many times you guys get something in the mail from Gap? Hey, get a ten dollar certificate for liking us on Facebook, mm -hmm. right? Hey, Jack, I'm well, you can follow your you, likes. You know, another well. thing, like if you have a restaurant, they have the ability to say, "This is what we're going to feature in the morning," and at noon, boom, this is going to be our lunch special in the evening, boom, this is our dinner special, and it can be up on that board, <laughs> so it's constantly moving and flowing and uh, really giving you up to date. So it's it's really unique. There's a lot of possibilities. Yeah, it's it's a different. Yeah, what's up, Roger? A quick question. Uh, well, a question and a comment. Uh, the question is. Is it possible that at some point there might even be a live video feed on that? No, typically, and this is just goes to the rules, you can only have still pictures. We don't do any type of moving motion video or anything like that because of the distraction to traffic and accident. We won't even do uh, QRC, QRV codes, you know, because you said, I mean, it's all about safety. So that's why you'll just see still messages. So when it comes up, that message is going to be there. But when, say, it rotates, just guys let you know, I mean, basic schematics, you've got like six advertisers, let's say a, a digital poster like this, they're guaranteed like 1,665 spins a day, okay? 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Every time it comes up, the message would be different, but now no video. Safety first. So they're right, Bob. So here's, here's a comment. Uh, let's say that RJ Tail had a, a Valentine's <coughs> special, and then they might, uh, uh, with the couple's permission, get a photograph and Roger absolutely. loves. Absolutely. And, and it, it <laughs> rotates. So oh, absolutely. That, that would be very cool. Yeah, exactly. I mean, same type of deal. If you guys see that, I just had a little miniature uh, panel right here, and this is actually just a poster that we did in Russellville. But that's like three <clears throat> of its uh, Bondurant Orthodontics in Russellville. Okay, he's got Russellville, smaller hometown. He's got three of the local high school students on there. You know what kind of a buzz that would make because they saw themselves on a billboard? Mm -hmm. Same type of deal, you know, hey, at dinner at Town, having a great time. So yeah, you can do things like that. There was uh, one I submitted, you know, Dunkin' Donuts just came in this market. In another market, like every month, it would show a happy customer and they got to see themselves on a billboard. Again, increasing their following, their likeness, their Facebook, their tweets. You know, so absolutely, that's that's some of the ideas and some of the things that can come from this. You know, you're only limited to your own creativity. Um, so speaking of that, like here's another one. Um, you know, obviously digital, you can do it on different markets depending <coughs> on how big the newspaper is. But that's instantaneous. This template's the same. Obama signed stimulus package. Okay, that reminds me, I need to probably get online and check out the advocate and see what about that story. So it's all synergy and it works together. Oh, love this. And I think we looked at this one time, didn't we, for, uh, uh, for Wild River Country maybe or something like that. But the idea is behind this is uh, there's your five-day forecast. Mm -hmm. That part changes. This part stays the same. Mm -hmm. See what I mean? So weather forecasts, all that. And, of course, it's brought to you by, you know, whoever the, uh, the advertiser is going to be in this case, uh, Six Flags. All right. TNT playoffs, live scores. Come on, guys. We know about scores. If you're not home watching the Super Bowl, I'd love to know what's going on. All right, winner go home, game two. New York Knicks, Boston, those are live scores coming through the feed. That's so cool. All right, a follow-up campaign. I love this, this is so cool. All right, check this out. How do you burn your 64? And they got Facebook, right? So a lot of times you'll see on our billboards, we just put the Facebook icon. Now we don't need to go, it's www. Just put Facebook, okay? I mean, because the savvy, they're, they're gonna get that. They're gonna look it up on Facebook and look for you know, Miller MGD 64. So. That was a short one that they can do. How do you burn your 64? What a great follow-up campaign. <laughs> I burn my 64 by going hiking. Sue Pearson. See what I mean? And so that was posted. Now, that's another way that they, they contributed to like an active campaign. McDonald's did one one time in a large market. They said, what's your perfect burger? You know, that kind of thing. And they would submit their ideas. You know, that kind of thing. So it was just ongoing. Again, a Facebook following there. And of course, the personal ones. That's my daughter, so I mean, we did like, you know, a little happy birthday message for her. And I got Valentine's going up tomorrow, so I can even do the personal messages. Happy Valentine's, happy birthday. So that was something that we ran last year that I thought you guys would. Now, you want to talk about real cool. This is some of the capabilities. And of course, you get into the whole real estate, you know, permits in the building. And obviously, this is a huge, huge, huge campaign. But can you imagine what kind of an impact something like that has? All right. There was one for a, a paint place, and it had the paint spilling all the way down the side of the building into the parking lot with a fake car that was completely covered in yellow paint. 
<laughs> I mean, I, I used to think, say when, and they've heard me say this before too, but I mean, like when you're trying to come up with some of these ideas, like, mm, you smell that rubber burning? It's me thinking. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you got some spectacular locations, things like that. Now, we're about to get to the fun part. All right, get your creative cap on, folks. Now, we were just talking about this. Less is more, right? Now, does anybody think they're going to be able to read that going 70 miles an hour down I-30? <coughs> Probably not. Okay? So, uh, that's not so good. So, remember, less is more. Typically, you're looking at, you know, we want to do uh, at four to five seconds. Keep it simple. Seven words or less. I'm telling you, less is more. We don't need to write the book. As my dad used to say, we don't want the cheese. We just want out of the trap, okay? we got to keep it simple. <laughs> Decide what's most important. All right, it's SMEA design time. Guys, we're going to design a billboard right now. And we're going to do it for, uh, what do you guys want to do? we got two choices. We're going to do it for SMEA, just a, a sample billboard, or we're going to make up an Irish bar named Shamrock. Christy came up with that. That's good. Which one do you guys want to do? All in favor of doing the SMEA billboard? Yeah, all right. All right, who wants to do the Shamrock? Shamrock. <laughs> shamrock, okay, Shamrock, okay, all right, Christy, I need your help, okay, so here's what we're going to do, now, now this is my plan, it's strategic, all right, so here's what we're going to do, all right, let's say we're going to do Shamrock, this is a new billboard, and here's what we're going to do, this is how it all starts, it all starts from right now, all right, so whether you got a cocktail, napkin, or whatever, hey, you're scribbling it down on a piece of paper, you guys are going to start shouting out headlines to me, we're going to figure out our theme, what do we want to push, and what are we going to do? All right, and remember, let's think about extensions. Let's think about having some fun with this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our cat scratches, because I couldn't even draw a stick, man. Hence why Miss Christie's up here, because um, I'm not an artist. All right, uh, but what we're going to do, then we're going to give it to John Collins, and we're going to pretty it up. And then if it's okay with you, Miss Janie, in our next newsletter, I'd like to send that out to everybody and say, guys, here's the billboard design that you just did. All right? And by chance, if there was ever an Irish pub named Shamrock, we could submit that. We can call it the SME A Shamrock. <laughs> she wants us to do That's that. Right. SME no. SME A. SME we, we like to get down at our meetings. So, yeah. All right. All right. So let's do a big old billboard template. Are right, you ready? All right. Here we go. First thing. Okay. It's Shamrock. All right. Somebody tell me. Somebody tell me. What? Uh, give me a headline. Headline. Eat, drink, and be merry. Okay, eat, drink, and be merry. Be no, no, all right. That, that's that's, that's good, but it's been used. It's been used. Huh? Beer here. Beer here. Come on, child. Come on, guys. <laughs> you cannot do it because you work for Lamar. All right? You are disqualified. All right, come on, come on. Happy hour. Happy hour. Happy hour. There you go. We just, you know, that's great. We just use that for, a, uh, it was a liquor's Pleasant Valley liquor. We did happy hours and just put the hours that they were open. Great. Good thinking. I like that because that was my idea. <laughs> Get lucky. See, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. All right. Now, I'm just thinking, I'm, I'm going to throw this in. I can't help it. But what about a four-leaf clover as an extension Yeah. Yeah. on the top of it? Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? I like that. That's good. And okay. a, green, a green stem at the bar, make a big, big And maybe we make that a stem that goes into, what do you even think, maybe maybe on the monopole, like we saw with the hose? Because uh -huh. really, that's just vinyl. That's not too expensive to create. So that could be the stem. Or can you make a, can you make a, beer, a beer mug and then have... Not a not a clover butter. Okay, know, let's, a, do a, let's do another initial. Celery stalk. There is something. so much rubber burning in this room right now. Oh my gosh! Take a whip. Okay, next, next, next. We gotta keep it going. Come on, guys! I can hear crickets chirp over here. Let's what, come up with a headline. Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. Come on, you ready? Something. Get green. Get green. All right. Oh, how about go, go, go green. green. Go green. Double mean, right? Yeah. Very good. Go green. Yeah. Then they put recycling and options. I'm just kidding. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry. These little things pop in my head. I just can't help it. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? Uh, lucky night. Lucky night. All sorts of that really does. <laughs> lucky nights. Maybe, do you feel lucky? Mm. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we got some good ones that we're working with. Any other ones? This suds for you. This oh, suds yeah. for you. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Add guy. Add guy. <laughs> yeah. This suds for you. All right. Now at the bottom, what do you think? This is a new location. 
And first thing I'll tell you, is, some may be agreed, but you know, typically today we all got the smartphones. So I mean, if you do a website, you don't really need to put the www. Just put what it is. You know, so shamrock.com, or what we could do is shamrock.com, or just put the big old Facebook logo. Because well, typically, with bars, you need to put their address because they're not going to know where to go. Right. So if we want to do a directional, as I say, we got a theme, all right, and then we do a directional. So let's say they're located. Well, this is outside the place where it is. No, no, no. This is going to be on. Let's say where it's on the interstate. Let's just. I'm totally making this up. But let's say it's down in the river market, and they just moved in, and we want to put um, something on I-30. Primo location, 91,000 people a day. No, why don't we just say um, River Market? Okay? So everybody pretty much knows where that is. We're going to say, well, what you're going to do is exit this, take right, then take a left, and you'll, you know, you know, hey, MapQuest. Okay? But we know now we got a general vicinity and a general area. Shamrock.com. Right? Shamrock.com. And then put a dot in between it and separate it. American Dot Shamrock. Yeah. You should go into the outdoor business. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? Anything else, guys? Because remember, folks, there is in the past there has been a billboard, and this was in another market. All they did was put a gigantic cupcake, and they said cupcakes fresh downtown. I mean, there's, it was something like cupcakes.com is what was what the name was. Pe there was no phone number, there was no address, no email address. People picked up and asked for information and called, and that's all they did was have a gigantic cupcake. So you do not need to even many times put an address just because we all have, have our iPhones and so forth, and we have the ability to find things so quickly. Absolutely. All right, now I think we got a great start on the shamrock. So we're together. Oh, we got another one. We got some more. Could, could you put a mug of beer, a realistic beer, and then have a glass that changes types of beer? That uh, you shamrock couldn't necessarily. Would I mean, there's all kind of. You can get as creative. Bob, because we do smoke machines. Oh, all stuff we actually haven't haven't talked about in the production uh, world is, is snipes. They're basically stickers that are printed and, and adhered to the vinyl. Uh, what we could do is have the basic mug template and then as the weeks go on in the campaign print snipes that cover the mug and the beer level goes down see how that's a point oh that gives me chills i love that <laughs> and don't forget you can also do different things for digital too if we did also a yeah. digital campaign to supplement maybe something that was kind of static on the interstate mm -hmm. and then and then switch that up with different beers and show the bottles or whatever it's an ongoing campaign it's not just going to sit there the other thing that you can do too and i mean is imagine well you actually make it 3D. We talked about extension, which is going to be at the top, or you can extend about two and a half feet on the side. We talked about using the little design poles, you know, what we were talking about here. Let's see here. Yeah, okay, that's just vinyl right there. But imagine you got, we were talking about the 3D. Let's see, where was that? Okay, that's like 3D because that's coming out. You could actually make a beer mug. Okay, it's coming out and do the same concept he's talking about. Or if you and then maybe utilize, make the top foam, and that's your extension. You can utilize the pole, and if it's a lot of Irish pubs or, or tap houses, there's a lot of taps on. Oh my yep. God, tap. You can make, yeah. Draw that, you gotta draw that, you gotta draw that. So the, the tap is the beer running down into the ground. You can do an extension on that American. <laughs> okay, go ask for it. <laughs> Come on, Vanna White, you're looking down, hang on. <laughs> You can always change your extensions based on your beers that you have too. Yep. That's a big thing for bars. So maybe that's your extension because that's the tap. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be the name of it. Did you get, was it um, your company who got in trouble for having a man, or would look like a man, <laughs> hanging from one of your billboards? Yes, oh, no, absolutely. Yes. Uh, we use mannequins. <laughs> the mannequins. <laughs> They're mannequins. Uh, right. Did anybody drive on 67? 167 yes. is this drop in for military discounts. That's a real parachute on top. Oh. Uh, I, I don't think either Bob or Jack were here. What we did um, years ago but that's was, uh, right it was on I-30 downtown, <laughs> right and, and it was it was a, a, a phone company, and they had a phone with the ex an, an extension coming out with the, with the antenna, and had a dummy. It was a life-size dummy hanging from it. The day it went up, they were on the news. They had the policemen were called. Ambulances were called and said, "My God, there's a there's a guy trying to commit suicide. He's trying to jump off the billboard." So we had to take it down immediately. Yeah. But I mean, that's how life like it was. It was. So. And there's another one. Oh, there's another one. Real quick. There's another one, and it was talking about like a, a pickup truck, 
and go on the farmer's name, and there's a cowboy sitting on top of the board with a cowboy hat. Uh -huh. He sat in our office for a while. Oh, what are we naming? And then we play jokes on each other, and we put the mannequin in everybody's seat. But that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. The, what what do you call the over the top part? Extensions. Okay, an extension of a rainbow, and it starts behind the billboard, comes into the billboard. Like Lucky into, Charms or something? Right, yeah. right, yeah, right. Yeah, into yeah. a yeah. mug of, of beer <laughs> being held by a leprechaun with a shamrock on his head. <laughs> Here. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So you guys can see through all this how much fun you can have. And the last thing that I just like to close with, but the, the final thing is when you when you talk about numbers and things like that, but people that are in the ad business will know, but forever, in the longest time, they would go by what we'd call a traffic count. How many people are driving by, right? Well now, just so you know, it's more pinpointed now. Um, you can really factor an outdoor campaign into your agency plan or whoever's planning your entire campaign. What I mean by that is, again, I'm not going to tell you how the watch works, but all I can tell you is Lamar spent $13 million on it. It's uh, great data and it works, but it's called eyes on impressions. So no longer is it, oh, what's your traffic count? It's who's actually seeing this board? And here's what you need to know. You basically, your demographics. Yeah, your demographics. So basically what they're doing is they're going to take your traffic count you start with that, then you're also going to take uh, simulations, not too much unlike like, you know, when an airplane pilot does a C-130 simulator, basically they did surveys with all kinds of people following their eye movements, right hand boards, boards above you, boards to the left. They take that data and then of course the U.S. Census Bureau, okay, and they're able to evaluate where people are most, you know, likely to drive to and from work. All right, so they basically take all those three surveys, melt it together and you get an EOI, so an eyes on impression. So if you've got a board for you know, that week, okay, 36,000 people are going to see that panel. And then what we're able to do beyond that is just based on that panel, you'll get a demographic breakdown. Age, race, gender, median income, you know, do you like Lucky Charms? No, I'm just kidding. But, you know, that kind of thing. So that's how the landscape has changed too, not just from a local level, but also from an agency level. So you can see we've got some really nice streamed, streamlined data to go by now as opposed to what people say, you know, just a traffic count. But from campaigns, folks, from, okay, we're gonna do a directional and introductory campaign, we're gonna put it up for two months, that kind of thing. Typically, when you do a bulletin or something like that on the interstate, it's typically gonna be more long-term, something like that. The model's guaranteed to last a year. Poster campaigns, we rate that in showings. So when you're doing a showing, let's say you wanna do a 10 showing for Little Rock. That means we're gonna reach 10% of the entire population of Little Rock and North Little Rock. That's three posters. We spread them all out. You're trying to get your message out. Depends on what. And then, of course, digital. <laughs> you want to wish somebody a happy birthday for a day? Great. You want to do it for a week, two weeks? But one of the things that I found that's been great, whether it's Burger King and some of these guys and Taco Bell, but constantly changing your message morning, noon, and night. Happy hour, breakfast, lunch, dinner specials. I mean, it's literally the sky's the limit. And that's what makes this landscape and this industry so exciting and so much fun is the fact that you do have all these creative liberties. You know? So, I'd just like to close digital, with that. What's that? Yeah, so how many digital do you have in Blue Water? 13. 13, 13 digital. digital. So I can just tell you, compared to a market this size, say compared to say Oklahoma City, <coughs> which could swamp Little Rock, I mean, we have more than they do. I mean, we, we're, you know, we've got quite a few. In the metro. In the metro. These are all in the metro. So you might see on, just got a new one on, uh, you guys are driving. It's funny, because now that you learn about billboards, you guys are going to go out and you're driving, you're going to start looking, oh my gosh, oh my god, that's so cool, yeah, yeah, so I mean, I'm telling you, it's addictive, uh, but we got a new one on I-40, uh, on Crystal Hill, that's a brand new one, and then we also got a new one on I-30, uh, close to Roosevelt, which is a right-hand read as you're headed to downtown, so you can think about all these huge, huge traffic accounts, I mean, I-30, it's 91,000 people a day. Drive by, but you can't turn What happened on. to the one on 6.30 at Fair Park? 6.30, yes, that's uh, one of the most premier panels uh, mm -hmm. that we have. We have <coughs> two or three on 6.30. But it was digital, it no longer is digital. No, no, that was actually just a digital, what we call back in the day, that was just more of like a digital reader. All it was was just a scroller, a digital scroller, and it became outdated. So when I'm talking about digital billboards now, I'm talking about the full screen um, digital like that. So it's all digital template. So with that, folks, I'd like to close and tell you, like my dad said, early to bed, early to rise, work like hell and advertise. So have we got any questions, anybody? Yes, yes, yes. How, how do you guys manage?
getting away with posting the Facebook and Twitter icons on billboards without Facebook or Twitter coming after you? For well, using their, it's their an, I mean, it's not like it's necessarily owned. You might want to attest to that, but I mean, that's pretty much a given. It's almost like when you see a print ad, you got Facebook, Twitter. I mean, it's not an exclusive right word because obviously, if anything, they want you to promote. I, We're right. doing them a favor. Because we wanted to put one, we wanted to put the, the little bird icon and the Facebook icon yeah. right below our Think Justice mm -hmm. uh, sign on our building, mm -hmm. but um, our general counsel at the time said, wait, hang on a second, we don't. We don't want them. Get an oh, do you know, is that, yeah. 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 I mean, that, that's, that's universal right now because yeah, everybody's trying to get on the Facebook bandwagon and the Twitter and, and like it. Hence why we're able to do the interactive things that we're doing. But yeah. he's probably just being over cautious. Probably. And he's an attorney, so I mean, you know, I, you know, it's, a, it's creative guys, and you know, it's like accounting and marketing people. We like to spend money and create the sizzle. You know, the camera, they're like, boy, well, we're not so sure. Right now. You know, it's like us. I put Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn icon on. All right, next question, Neil. Yeah. They, um, you know, back in the day, I don't, I don't remember um, uh, Billboard company coming and really pushing the creative side of it. Is that new for you guys? Is that industry-wide You got that that's happening more? Or? The number one way that, I mean, I really, I'd say probably nine times out of ten, I mean, I'm, my whole campaign is on an idea. I mean, obviously you're going to be limited if an agency, a huge one or something, is doing Taco Bell and you have to run what they right, are. But right. for local ones that say maybe don't have an agency or things like that or new to outdoor, 100% of the time I, I come up with an, uh, an idea or a creative or find out a fact-finding mission first. What are you trying to do? What's our? What are we trying to accomplish? And then we come up with the theme. And then uh, when Johnny's booked at the office, I mean, there's nothing but a staff of artists across the country that do nothing but design work for us. But it's it's for me. It's about what you put up there. My campaign's not gonna do you any good. You have a lousy message. So yeah, it's your question, man. You bet you, man. You got selling the creative. It's about the message, the message, the message. I mean, there's been times where, really, I mean, I've told her like, look, man. I mean, I'm sorry. I don't want to waste your time. But you know, if they're Hell bent on well, let's put this up, and it's like reading a magazine for a billboard. I'm like, man, I, you know, it's like putting an elevator in an outhouse. It's just not gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> just like what he, what he does. If I call the customer, I don't know they're yours. I've taken them a visual anyway. You may kind of end up coming from you, but we sell the idea. Right. And you tweak it, and we have revisions, and then we come up, and then after yeah. that, everybody's on the same page. Hey, this is good but it's you. much easier to sell something you can see than something you can't, and we're both very visual companies. Absolutely. So. You'd be so because, I mean, again, you do get a personal mm -hmm. attachment to it. I mean, you believe in the company and these owners, and they want to see their face. And, of course, some of them, you know, that say maybe they'd be the face, they'd be the face of the company, and you spruce it up, and you look good, and it's kind of a, a nice um, you know, representation for their brand. Yeah, that's, that's important. So no, I think creative is our number one way most of us sell. Bob, do you have any thoughts on that? Um, I mean, because I mean, you do a lot of the big, big, huge, you know, the national things too, but a lot of them, they all have work for you. Countless hours when they're creative. Um, exactly what Jack's up here doing now, not only talking about creative, but just product education um, and kind of dispelling the myths of, of what outdoor is and is not. So with with that, it really ties in with, with, with having a creative idea to, uh, I guess, to go with, with what education is. Yeah, and you're just trying to match up the idea with the right game plan. Well, and there's so much, I mean, there's so much out there for us. I mean, we get so much mail every day. I mean, you've got TV, you've got radio, you've got so many different media types. And I think everyone's looking for a way, every company's looking for a way to stand out from the rest. And that's using a unique idea, being something simple, something creative. And so I just think everyone, we're striving to really uh, give our clients something that's going to help them stand out from the rest. And that's creative. And speaking of that, I'll check it. I'm like, okay, great. So you want to do this campaign. When is your direct mail hitting? Because, I mean, i got to find out what else are you doing. I try to be more than just their billboard guys. Like, I need to know. I mean, give me some details. Give me the mojo. When are you running your TV? When are you running your radio? When are you doing direct mail? I mean, let's you know, let's get it all working together, right? Yep. Otherwise, as opposed to being all fragmented, like I said, if we're going to be that consistent backing. We want to hit it from all directions so we can really, really make an impact. You know? Any other questions? Anybody else? Anybody else? Anything else? Yes. I'm wondering what your checking system is on the <coughs> instant like Twitter and Facebook. 
of things that they're sending up. I mean, right. It in? will go through a filter through Knox. Is it a network operations center? Is it a person or a digital filter? No, it's, it's going to be. It's both. It's, it's both. yeah. There's it's, it's a two two pro, two step we have, process. We have keyword a lot of a big bank of keywords that are okay. unacceptable. <laughs> 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 Would you guys like to see a list of oh, those? Yeah. <laughs> But like, if a person, like, if, like if a company owner went on like a personal vendetta and said something, you know, it, it would be. It, it, not after it goes through the bank and it's approved, then it's eyes are put on it okay. every single time. So, and there's also pairings. Um, you know, you could use the word fat and the word pig, but you probably can't use the word fat pig together. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, there, there's pairings and How anything. Long does that process usually take? Usually, it's about 15 minutes. That's 10 to 15 minutes is, is kind of the standard time for if, if it does. And most everything that's uploaded from an, not most, everything that's uploaded from an outside source that's not a Lamar uh, network is is viewed. So. Guys, thanks Thank again you. so much Thank for you. having me. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all for having me. I appreciate it.